guys, so it is Wednesday, June 8th at 9... 25 in the morning and we are joining the new gym today and I'm going to film my workout on Wednesdays I do glutes and hamstrings. So that is what I will be filming for you guys today I'm so excited to try this new gym. Um, I'll show you guys what I'm wearing today. I'm a little nervous though because It's like warehouse gym style. So I'm scared. I'm gonna sweat to death but I'm just wearing this little uh, top that I tied in the front from G stage. My hair is just in a little ponytail with a little black headband um, My leggings are the all right all the right places pant by Lulu all of my leggings are currently dirty So we are going to be wearing these <laughs> swing by GNC first because I need to get a new blender bottle. Well, actually, I really just need a new top, but I don't think they just sell tops. I'll definitely check if they do, but it is completely cracked, so when I shake it, everything comes out, so I really need to get a new one. And then I also brought my pre-workouts with me, of course, because we're probably just going to take little pre-workout shots. I'll probably take them, like, right before my workout, so I'm doing the EVL Orange Dream, and then maybe a little bit of pea science high volume I don't know um I'm doing glutes and hamstrings like I said I actually usually why are my windshield wipers on <laughs> I usually do glutes and hamstrings on Tuesdays but I didn't go to the gym on Monday so yesterday I did what I would do on Monday and today I'm doing what I would have done yesterday I thought I would do a commentary for you guys, so definitely let me know what you think. I started off with dumbbell deadlifts, so I did stiff leg deadlifts first, and then I did Romanian. And in Romanian, you're going to keep your back pretty arched, but in stiff leg, you want it to be a little more flat. I actually did back the day before, so I was a little sore. Not an excuse, but that's why my back was arched more than usual, so just don't arch it as much as I did. But the difference between the two is that Romanian, you're pushing your glutes back, and for stiff leg, you are keeping your hips high. You also keep your legs pretty straight with stiff leg. There should always be a slight bend in your knees when doing any exercises, but with Romanian, you really do bring your knees forward as you push your glutes back. Up next, I did the lying hamstring curl, which I've actually never used before because I've never found a gym that has one, but I absolutely love this. I hold it at the top for about two to three seconds and then I slowly decline and this really, really helps burn your hamstrings and um, keep the tension on them. And don't bring your feet all the way down to the floor so that the tension remains on your hamstrings. I then moved on to the leg press and I used a narrow high stance so I kept my toes hanging over the very edge and this is going to help hit your hamstrings and your glutes more than your quads and you might be confused as to why I keep my um, hands on my quads but it actually helps with mind muscle connection because it reminds me to be feeling it in my glutes my hamstrings and not my quads seems kind of odd but I started with one plate and then I moved on to my working sets with the actual weight that I was using for that workout um, two plates on each side Goblet squats are one of my favorite exercises at the moment. You're literally just sitting as far as you possibly can to the bottom of the ground and then squeezing your glutes at the very top. And I was just using 35 pounds with this. Next up are weighted step ups. And when you do these, do not push off with the foot that's on the ground. Actually just lift your body using that leg that's on the bench. It's hard to explain, but when you start doing it, you'll understand because you will instinctively push yourself off the ground and you will not feel it in your glutes and then we moved on to cable squats I did one set of 12 with a warm-up weight and then I did three sets of 10 for working sets and you really want to pull yourself up with your lower body do not use your upper body at all you see my arms coming in but that's actually when I'm thrusting forward and contracting my glutes I then moved on to pulsing lunges. I did these on each side and when you do these you really want to push off 
with your toes on that back foot and squeeze your glutes at the very top. You will also feel this in your quads. I love doing compound movements. I feel as though they work a lot better than isolation movements, for me at least. And then you see me warming up for some squats, I decided to start adding some light squat sessions to this day because I do a heavy squat day on Thursdays. So after warming up and stretching for about five minutes, I went ahead and started with 115 pounds, which is 35 on each side. And then I moved on to 135 pounds, which is 45 on each side. And then I finished off with 115 for eight reps. This is like a nice little burnout. Like I said, this is a very light squat day. All right, so I just finished up at the gym. It is now 12.55. I am obsessed. Um, so she gave me a free one week trial. So it is 3.23 now. It's been a couple hours since um, I was cut off by my camera in the car because my battery died. As you guys know, today is my official starting day of the cut. So I have changed my macros. My macros before were at, um, I think 300 carb, 135 fat, and 65 protein. That was for my surplus. So now I've dropped down to my maintenance calories. Um, and honestly, do not follow my macros. <laughs> Everybody always says this, but don't follow them because there's so many factors to it. Half of them you don't even know about me. So if you follow my macros, you're just not going to see any results because it's not for your body. So if you guys do want to see a video on how to calculate them, I can definitely film that for you. It is so easy, and I think I know how to explain it. So that you guys don't get confused. So let me know if you guys want to see that. But my macros now are 135 protein, 256 carbs, and 57 fat. So that brings me to 2077 calories, which is my maintenance calories. Um, it's actually 2078, but I got close enough. So that's my maintenance calories. I didn't want to drop from my surplus all the way down to like cutting calories because that's just too much of a drop because when I end my cut, I'm going to be like 1,000, like 300 calories down from what my surplus was. So you don't want to drop that much. You usually don't want to drop more than, I would say like 1,000 is pushing it to cut your calories that much from going from a surplus to a deficit. I think that's too quickly, but obviously it depends on each person. But for me, I thought I would just drop them down to 2077 because before I was at like 2300 ish so I only dropped them a little bit and I still have plenty of carbs and fats to work with but I'll obviously keep dropping them as the weeks go by I think I'm probably just gonna cut for like maybe eight weeks I don't know I'm not really cutting to lose a certain amount of weight or anything like that but I thought I would tell you guys where I'm at right now um I completely forgot to weigh myself this morning so <laughs> Don't have a starting weight, but I'm sure it's 126.8 because that's what I weighed in yesterday and the day before that. So for cardio, because I know everyone's going to ask, I'm just going to slowly implement cardio. I have not been doing cardio at all during the surplus. I started and then I was like, nah, we're just, we're, we're not going to do this. We'll start using it later. Um just as a way to lose fat quicker. I want to have a name. Everybody has a name for their cutting series. Obviously this isn't a prep series. I'm not doing a competition. But if you guys have any titles for cutting that are like funny or like creative, please leave them in the comments down below because I'm just drawing a complete blank. I don't even know what I'm gonna call this. But yeah, I'm really excited. If you're excited, let me know in the comments. If you guys have any videos that you wanna see during this little series, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see you all in my next video. I love you. Bye.